Hello again, friends. It's always fascinating to look at things that seem to break the mold and to be out of the ordinary way of things happening. We have one of those occasions with Jesus to consider today. All Jesus ever had to do, as he demonstrated on so many occasions, was to speak a word or be available to be touched, and healing flowed from him to the person who needed it. And yet, on this particular day, when Jesus had gotten the blind man to the place where he intended to heal him, he had to act twice. They came to Bethsaida, and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. When he had spit on the man's eyes and put his hands on him, Jesus asked, Do you see anything? He looked up and said, I see people. They look like trees walking around. Once more, Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened, his sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. Now, saliva was thought to have curative powers in Jesus' day, and so rather than being something gross, this action of Jesus spitting and putting the saliva on the man's eyes was something very understandable to the blind man and those who would be watching. Jesus does what he so often did. He reached out, put his hands on the man's eyes to bless him. And this is where it gets interesting. Jesus asked the man if he could see anything, and the man shared how he had a pretty blurry vision of what was going on. So Jesus put his hands on the man again, and this time the healing was complete. Why things happened in this way? None of us will know. But what it made me pause and reflect about is how we sometimes need to take a second look at what God is saying, what God is doing, and allow God to bless us and bless the circumstances we find ourselves in so we can experience the fullness of what God wants to accomplish in us and around us. Heavenly Father, in our quick fix world, we want the shortest, easiest way to get a problem solved. But that's obviously not always the best way, your way. I pray today that we would have the humility and trust we need to keep coming back to you until our vision is clear and our hearts are settled in your healing truth. You have the words of eternal life, and we need to look and look again at all you are saying and doing so we can understand and walk in obedience to that. Amen. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Well, how many looks at God's word might it take for us to get all that goodness into us? Let's take time to look and look again at what God is giving us today.